Hey everyone, so by now we are over a month into patch 9.0.5 and the healer meta landscape has had some huge changes over the past few months. And with some key buffs to resto druids and the rising popularity of holy priests, it seems like we've finally escaped the holy paladin meta, at least for now. Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into the healer meta, letting you know exactly how each spec compares in both 2v2 and 3v3. But before we get into that, we have a question for you. Do you remember that ancient bracket called 5v5, I was digging around in some old screenshots and found some black and white photographs of the good old days. So do you miss 5v5? Should Blizzard bring it back? Let us know what you think in the comments below. But whether or not they do bring back 5v5 or introduce some sort of solo queue, we'll always have you covered over at skillcap.com wow. There you'll find class courses and matchup breakdowns designed by some of the best players in the world. Our guides are carefully crafted to directly increase your skill and rating, giving you in-depth knowledge that you won't find anywhere else. If you want to take your gameplay to the next level, be sure to check out skillcap.com wow today. Anyway, let's start off by going over some of the most important changes from the patch and how it shaped the healer meta. The spec that saw the biggest buffs was Resto Druid. Not only did Rejuvenation and Wild Growth get overall healing increases, but the Necrolord Adaptive Swarm ability was also buffed. On top of that, their Verdant Infusion Legendary also received minor buffs. All in all, these were much needed changes as Resto Druid struggled with healing early on in the expansion. These healing buffs helped to offset their relatively weak defensive CDs, and when combined with a Covenant-wide buff to Fleshcraft, Druids gained some additional defense and are now one of the tankiest healers in the game. This buff also helped Resto Shamans who have Necrolord as their primary covenant as well. Holy Paladins also had a small fall from grace as the best healer in the game, and after a nerf to Ultimate Sacrifice, they fell to the relative power level of other healers. With that in mind, Blessing of Sacrifice is still a really strong defensive CD, especially when combined with the Swiss Army Knife defensive toolkit of Holy Paladins. So let's start with the 2v2 bracket, which is currently ruled by a few classes and revolves around synergy with BM Hunters, Fire Mages, and Arms Warriors. Holy Priests are definitely the biggest disruptors to the Shadowlands season one meta. Being slept on early into the expansion, it wasn't until players like Zen and Meh reached the number one spot on the EU 2v2 ladder that people realized its true potential. Chastise is one of the best abilities in the bracket, allowing Holy Priest to synergize well with other DPS by giving them a high damage cross CC option. Combined with having the best damage output of any healer, multiple CC immunities, efficient defensive CDs, and mind games pressure, Holy Priests are fully equipped for top tier 2v2 play and joining them on that S tier are Resto Druids. What they lack in damage, they make up for in control and the ability to effectively get drinks. With 2v2 games lasting longer and longer, with dampening starting earlier, the ability to drink is highly valued. On the control side, many Resto Druids play Feral Affinity, giving them access to more stun options to use as CC starters with Cyclones or as CC follow-up. Both Resto Druids and Holy Priests pair well with BM Hunters, who are arguably the best DPS spec in the bracket. Next up, the A tier is split three ways between Disc Priests, Holy Paladins, and Resto Shamans. Although Disc did not receive significant nerfs so far this expansion, they have taken a seat in the shadow of their Holy counterparts. Despite being designed as the damage spec, their damage is comparatively weaker than Holy. With that in mind, they still offer good damage and support as well as a double dispel option. Mind Games remains one of the best abilities in the game, especially in 2v2 where high levels of dampening are really threatening to all healers. Joining Disc on the A tier are Holy Paladins, who rely heavily on their burst damage to carry them in 2v2. While they lack mana efficiency and an offensive dispel, their main strength is their ability to do damage with Judgment and Hammer of Wrath. Holy Paladins are also really good into double DPS comps in 2v2, especially Rogue Mage, which is by far the most popular 2s comp in the bracket at the moment. And finally, rounding out the A tier are Resto Shamans, who have one of the best budgeted legendary options for 2v2. The Deep Tremor Stone Legendary allows them to do well over 100k damage with their Earth Elemental, and when combined with their Disruptive Toolkit and decent Lava Burst damage, they are very well rounded for the bracket. With that in mind, they are relatively susceptible to getting trained down by many of the popular 2v2 specs, which can be brutal combined with the healing reversal of Mind Games on Guardian Spirit. 
It should come as no surprise right now that Mistweaver is one of the most underperforming specs in PvP, which puts monks at the lowest tier on the B tier. One of the biggest things holding Mistweaver back right now is the comparative weakness of Life Cocoon to other healer CDs. Not only is the absorption effect easily breakable by many meta classes, it cannot be used while stunned. This is a massive issue in 2v2 especially, since many setups usually involve stunts. On top of that, Mistweaver mobility is often outpaced by melee DPS. The strength of their transcendence and rolls is easily countered by gap closers like Condemn and Heroic Leap. To sum up the 2v2 experience as a whole, most healers are pretty good and have access to at least one high tier comp. The bracket is controlled on the DPS side by BM Hunters, Arms Warriors, and Fire Mages, and some double DPS setups are huge execution tests to many high tier and mid tier comps. To be a good healer in 2v2, you need to have some balance of mana efficiency, damage, and control while having the ability to fall back on efficient defensive CDs. And moving on, we have a pretty similar story in 3v3, where almost every healer has at least one top tier comp. But this time, the playing field is more balanced, with no healer truly rising up to S tier status, but instead hovering right above or below the A tier. Starting off in the A plus tier are Holy Paladins, who still remain one of the best healers in the game, despite some nerfs. The primary strength of Holy Paladin continues to be the efficiency of their defensive CDs. With multiple safety nets to fall back on, Holy Paladin finds itself well equipped for dealing with popular meta comps, being able to efficiently trade things like Blessing of Protection, Avenging Wrath, and Blessing of Sacrifice well into the high damage of melee cleaves and the CC setups of comps like Jungle Cleave and Rogue Mage. With good awakening procs, they can make their team almost immortal, and with Divine Toll on the Arcane School, they have a healing ability to press while being locked out. While they are formidable on their own, they synergize incredibly well with Fire Mages, who are one of the god tier specs in Shadowlands. Fire Mages elevate Paladins to the A plus level by offering additional safety nets with Cauterize and the ability to peel for their teammates. Joining Holy Paladin in the A plus tier are Resto Shamans, who remain the mana batteries of 3v3. Their mana efficiency, combined with their ability to be disruptive against casters, makes them really strong in longer games. Just not too long, because their healing throughput gets really punished by dampening. Their lack of strong throughput often forces them to play with hybrids like Rep Paladins and Shadow Priests who provide needed defensive coverage. With that in mind, they have two functions in the current meta, the first being as a disruptor to fire mages and the second as a damage assistant in bursty comps with Purges and Sky Fury Totem. Next up, rounding out the A plus tier are Holy Priests, who have skyrocketed up the healer tier list since the beginning of the season. The primary strength of Holy Priest in this meta is its ability to dominate the early game in Arena. Their small, efficient defensive CDs combined with their Chastise and CC immunities is perfect in meta popular comps like Ellie Shaman Mage, where Holy Priests play an important role in setting up kills with stuns. Their synergy with burst heavy comps makes them really explosive in Arena, but unfortunately, this means that they begin to taper off in longer games and struggle to heal through high consistent throughput, especially in dampening. Moving down to the A tier, we have Resto Druids and Disc Priests. Druids have remained on the A tier the entire expansion, despite some minor problems early on, and Disc Priests have since moved down from their S tier status. Resto Druids are beginning to truly flourish in the meta though, partially due to games starting to last longer. Druids are undoubtedly the gods of dampening, having the ability to easily sneak away and drink throughout the game. They play a truly flexible role in Arena, with the ability to play passively as the unkillable Guardian Affinity, or aggressively with Feral Affinity to assist with kills as God Comp or MLD. This dynamic playstyle, combined with their synergy with mages, makes them a well-rounded healer in the meta. Their primary weakness is still hot mismanagement, and they can easily fall behind against dispel-heavy teams. Their saving grace is the strength of nature's Swiftness, which can be used to instantly top their teammates off through high burst damage from comps like Rogue Mage. Disc Priests, on the other hand, remain a really strong healer, though they are forced into one comp archetype to be successful in Arena. Disc Priests work well in comps like RMP and Jungle Cleave for their ability to support their team with cross CC and damage. Their primary weakness right now is getting trained, which often happens when they play jungle against melee cleaves. They don't have this problem as RMP, however, with a Rogue and Mage being able to peel much better better than a Feral Druid and Hunter. Their mana can also be a bit of an issue if they're forced to spam Radiance. 
Unfortunately, Mistweaver monks have failed once again to join the high tiers, but with some key changes coming up in patch 9.1, they might definitely have a brighter future ahead of them. Right now, the 3v3 bracket is run by a few comps fighting for dominance. Jungle Cleave, RMP, Mage Spell Cleave, and Warrior Melee Cleaves are some of the few comps that are everywhere in the 3v3 ladder. The strongest healers in threes are the ones who can fit into multiple comp archetypes and who have enough tools to deal with the meta. That is why Holy Paladin continues to be one of the strongest healers in the game, because they fit into multiple comp types and have really efficient cooldowns for dealing with different types of pressure. And there you have it. With 9.1 PTR being released, we're bound to see some huge changes coming to healer balance. For now though, this is the healer tier list for the middle of season 1. When the patch does hit, we'll be sure to give you a full update on how healer balance changes. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give us a like, and if you want to stay up to date on all changes 9.1 and beyond, be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss an upload. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.